Montana is famous for its wide open spaces, but don't let that fool you. In some of our most popular cities, space is at a premium as these markets experience unprecedented population booms. As a result, housing and rent prices have spiked across the state. That's led to compressed cap rates for multifamily, multifamily assets as well. In Bozeman, the average house price increased 60% from 2012 to 2019. The Wall Street Journal identified Billings as one of the hottest housing markets in the country, noting that out-of-state buyers will likely, were likely propelling the demand. Right, and for mountain towns like Missoula and Kalispell, extremely low vacancy is causing rent prices to jump by 10% or more over last year. Even smaller towns like Butte are experiencing the squeeze as vacancy drops and apartments become harder to find. So how did we get here? Montana didn't even crest 1 million residents until 2012. Competition for houses and apartments was known to be reasonable. Some of our staff recall paying four or $500 for their one bedroom apartment in Bozeman just a decade ago. Now that same apartment is likely to come in much closer to $1,000 a month. It wasn't just the pandemic that pushed people to Montana. The rise of remote workers and a cultural shift towards being outdoorsy had slowly been encouraging population growth for years. You know, even before the pandemic, there was a tilt towards places like Montana. The Department of Interior noted a 16% increase in national park visitation from 2008 to 2018. And among the top parks growth were Glacier and Yellowstone, bolstering double digit boosts in visitation. The appeal of outdoor recreation and rural spaces translated beyond visitation and more out of state residents began to transition to Montana. Now, if you ask a long time Montanan, they might tell you that this started much earlier than most would have you believe. Back in the 1990s, the film A River Runs Through It created a veritable boom in the popularity of fly fishing in Montana. Producers acknowledged that some Montanans believe the film had a hand in ruining the state by inspiring folks to move and visit Montana in droves. But as much as doom and gloom feature prominently in most narratives about the housing market, we see potential. A recent survey in Missoula showed multifamily and residential construction heating up with a 203% increase in building permits. Just over 1,000 units have broken ground as of Q3 2021 with even more in the planning pipeline. That seems to be the case for most of the biggest cities in the state. And while opportunities in markets like Missoula and Bozeman are tightening up, we're seeing more activity in places like Helena, Kalispell, and Billings. It's no surprise that these areas are gaining traction. Billings is preparing to welcome the state's first medical school, Helena features a lower cost of living, and Kalispell has room to expand that Missoula might lack. And all of these places are under the same spectacular big sky. Long before we became familiar with the term social distancing, Montana had, Montana's growth had begun. The pandemic simply pressed the gas on an existing demographic trend to get more targeted market intel on multifamily and development opportunities across the state, call us.